Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Heiser, author of the 60 Second Scholar series, a three book series about Bible study, about biblical content, understanding your Bible, and Bible doctrine, how to get a better grasp of biblical theology. Now, we've been going through my list of the top 10 myths about Bible study, and we're coming in at number three today. Number three, is the notion that words, biblical words, doing word studies, this is what it refers to, that biblical words can mean many different things in a given passage, in a given verse. Again, that is a myth, and I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from using things like Strong's numbers, but it can also come from using other kinds of lexicons. Here's how it usually works. Someone you know, wants to know what Hebrew or Greek word is underneath that English word in their translation. They'll get a Strong's number or they know enough Hebrew or Greek to go look it up in a lexicon. And then they'll see in the lexicon, just like in Webster's Dictionary, sort of a list of things, a list of meanings for that word. But a good dictionary like Webster's will put them in context. Now, the flaw here is looking at that list of possible word meanings and thinking, oh, that's pretty cool. Any of these might apply in my passage. So let's just try them out. And you sort of approach the passage, you approach word meaning, and hence the interpretation of your passage, by whichever one seems the coolest, or whichever one makes the point that you really secretly you know, want to make for yourself anyway. That one works, so that's the one I'm going with. Okay, words cannot mean anything in any given passage, even if a word has a range of meanings. You know what determines word meaning? Context. Context is king. To be more precise, word meaning is dictated, is driven by contexts with an S on the end. And that's because there are lots of different contexts that we have to consider. The ancient worldview. That could be religious worldview, it could be cosmological worldview, it could be cultural, social, anything like that. The type of literature, the genre. Genre is a context. If you had the same word that occurred in a death certificate, in a love letter, and in a mortgage document, you can't conclude that it means the same thing. Genre is context. There's lots of contexts. So word meaning does not derive from cherry picking a list in a lexicon. Word meaning is driven by context, period.